Caribbean Connections TV. This is Paradise Hendrickson for Caribbean Connections, and I'm here at a historical moment. For 11 years, members of CORN, C-A-R-N, Caribbean and African Radio Network, and Fitzroy Gordon has been trying to get our own radio station that highlights the Caribbean people. And finally, 2009 today, we finally got one, 98.7. And we're going to celebrate this tonight with all the members of our community. So stay with us. I'm very proud that the Prime Minister and his government have done the right thing in providing support uh, to this network. And now it's my privilege to introduce Fitzroy Gordon, the man behind it all. A broadcaster with Sports Radio Fan 590 and Chum Radio, the founder and president of the Maggio Awards, which are Canada's premier gospel awards, and of course, the reason he's here today, the president and founder of Ken, Fitzroy Gordon. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting for this day for a very long time. And I want you to give yourself a big round of applause. Today is our day. I want to hear it louder. Today is our day. The party of Canada. You may be wondering what this sign is doing there. But let me tell you why the sign is there. The sign is there because the Prime Minister, the Minister of Industry, the Minister of Multiculturalism, Citizenship, and so many more ministries he has on his belt. <laughs> He's so greedy, he has to take them all. And so many others, Dr. Colin Carey. They, ladies and gentlemen, realize that the black and Caribbean population need their very own radio station. So they said, yes, it is time. We always got to thank the Lord first. In everything we do, we got to thank God first. Without Him, it's not possible. Amen? So let me hear your applause for that. He was a police officer in Detroit, taking convicts to jail. Now he's winning souls for the kingdom. Isn't that wonderful? So from a police officer to a pastor, Ladies and gentlemen, the pastor of Word of Faith Ministries, Pastor Robert L. Martin. He will be praying starting procedures for us. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Pastor Martin. Oh, great to be here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, uh, small introduction earlier in regards to who I am, but it's not about who I am, it's about why we're here. It's also to pray and to give thanks. I've been given the honorable opportunity to conduct the invocation prayer for today. Very important time. Let's kind of bow our heads, if you would, Let's acknowledge the greater one. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We honor you today. We come together as a corporate body of believers, unified in your Son, we acknowledge you and thank you for bringing us this far. We could not have gotten this far without your divine intervention and opening doors that were once shut. We ask for your continued wisdom, knowledge, understanding as we endeavor to take CARN 98.7 FM live across the airways of the greater Toronto area and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Please welcome Young Nicholas Fraser. There is a spirit that brings a fire. Take your candle and 
that we were playing their music. Finally, they have a radio station to play their music. Gospel, reggae, soca, R&B. Finally, yes, we were playing. Bob Marley will be on. Yes, Sparrow will be on. And we'll have music also about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. All right, amen. So all music. Well, we found a frequency. But we came up against CBC, the big bad CBC. We couldn't move them. And we have asked other government that were in power before to help us. No help. Oh, Mike is off? Okay. Why would it be off at that time? <laughs> We're getting there. But we ask all the governments, please help us. As a people, we got to have our own station. No help came. We went through several ministers. Still no help came. The 98.7 frequency was there. All we need was cooperation from the CBC so that we can have our own radio station. But then, Prime Minister Arpa's government came into power. And let me tell you this. For the first time, we started to get respect. We started to get respect. The ministers, ladies and gentlemen, didn't ask us, why do you come to us? We can't do anything for you, for you. Minister Jason Kenny will come up later on. I will tell the story. But he agreed to champion the cause. He didn't waver. Minister Kenny said, yes, I'll be your champion. We'll tell you how we meet him who introduced him when his, his time come. Quickly, I'm just going to give you a little taste of what the station, the call was so light. Now, Mr. Delroy Graham, where is he, Delroy? Mr. Graham? Delroy? He's outside. Can somebody get him for me, please? Uh, Mr. Giles, come up here. Come up here, Pastor. Once again. Um, where is he? Oh, Mr. Alan John. Okay, where is he? I don't see. Okay, Mr. Alan John. Can you come up here for me, please? All right, let's quickly. All right. I want uh, these gentlemen again to give you a little taste of, like a little promo of the 98.7 frequency. And I'll be, oh yeah, I'm going to be again with, uh, <laughs> You're listening to CARM 98.7 on your FM dial. The boys saw the community, but we get right. the boys of the community where you get music, news, views, and reviews. So keep those dial touch because this is the voice of radio. I don't know if I can talk that one. <laughs> this is FM 98.7, and we are moving to a different rhythm. 
You're listening to Karn 98.7. My name is Alan Jones, rocking to the bones, y'all. 